Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The time is 9.43. Today is the 11th of October. And we've opened in a situation where uh, I'll not be trading, but I'll just go over what's happening. So first of all, it was a great break. I thought it was a very good breather. Didn't really spend any time looking at the markets except the close. I uh, didn't take any trades as well. So that was a good refresher. Right now, the reason I'm not trading is we have opened at the all time high situation and a continued up move from here and test of 18,000 will completely uh, change the structuring of how options are priced. It will throw IV all over the place and it's just not given that it's a Monday and we are potentially going to make a new all time high. It is not the best situation for me to be taking any uh, sideways trades. It just doesn't fit well. So even though I'm back um, to the market, I'm not going to be taking any intraday trades. Um, when I left um, uh, last week, the previous week, Friday, my open positions were all sold call options against my shares, so completely hedged on the upside. And uh, the HDFC, HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, Larson, ITC, all these calls have given up quite a bit of their value. So they are more or less fine. I added one McDowell's position. I cover about 70% of this position, not completely. So this one I'll have to be a little watchful for. And a little bit of the Nifty Biz also I've covered in December. Now, Reliance, I had sold this 2600 call. It started giving me a little bit of trouble because uh, from where I sold it at 69, it has basically doubled. And uh, now it's starting to give me a little bit of problem. Of course, it means the trade has benefited. It means my equivalent quantity of Reliance shares have uh, gained big time into the up move. But at the same time, I will not be giving delivery of these shares. And since I don't have any intention of giving delivery of these shares, I had to make these um, adjustments. I added this 2600 put on Friday towards the close. In the last five minutes, I added this 2600 put option sell to take some credit from the put side. And now I have made this sort of an adjustment and I'll go over what that is exactly. So basically, uh, I will go over one by one. My initial position was sale of this particular call option at the price of 69, which I mean, which is losing me a lot of money because of the up move. But this has to be looked at in context of also, I mean, you can look at it this way of buying this future. When I entered this Reliance was trading at 2550. Right, so it has to be looked at in context of this, but of course, for simplicity's sake, I will not be um, using this. This is equivalent to my holding in Reliance. Right, so this is what happened. And to deal with the fact that there is this up move, I sold this put option in order to give me a little more credit from the put side. And this is where the position stands as of this morning. But uh, in case there's a continued up move in Reliance, this position is really going to hurt me. And uh, I will be in a position where I might have to give delivery of my shares. And now here I have two options. I can either roll over my call option. So rolling over this call option would mean booking the loss on this particular call option. And since this call option has basically lost me about 50 rupees, it would be selling a call option worth 50 rupees in the next month, which very easily will give me back this 50 rupees. And I'll also be able to retain my shares. But at the same time, I don't want to be doing that because I have a lot of margin that I keep available to make adjustments and come out of these trades. You see, this initial trade is taking margin only of um, 5.8, which is less than like one and a half percent of my margin available. So I have added what I've done. I've used the spike in IV to add a short straddle at uh, 2700 and add a short straddle at 2800, giving me this sort of a situation where one short straddle is more or less neutral from where we currently are on Reliance and one which is bullish. So overall, if you look at my position, it's a short straddle at 2600, at 2700 and 2800. And this will give me a profitable range between roughly 2550 and 2850 is what I can keep in this range. My trade itself will not currently the 64,000 loss, the 61,000 loss that it's giving me. That loss more or less will be completely mitigated. And at the same time, I will have gained in my shares and I will not have to sell my shares. In case I was rolling over, what I would do is, so let's see how much the November 2900 call option reliance is worth. Okay, not too much. Like the spike in call side IV was not high enough, otherwise it would be worth a lot more. It's looking at October, that's why, okay. So in case I wanted to just 
roll over my trade on a cost basis then one option would be book this 50 point loss which is there in the 2600 and that's provided none of these adjustments were done um, book this 50 point loss here and sell this november 2900 call option what this does is whatever 50 points i'll be giving up here in case reliance consolidates here or heads lower i will recover all of that 50 points and in case there's a continuing up move my shares will have essentially gained 200 points before this 50 point call option goes in the money which once again is a win-win in either situation that is one option but since i have so much margin available and uh, since i'm comfortable trading reliance in this way i have instead restructured the entire position basically what i'm expecting here is if we take out this uh, all-time high and there's some short covering and we get pushed over 18,000, that's going to blow up calls at every level it doesn't matter so the, at the same time with the kind of IV spike, the compensation on the put side won't be good enough. Uh, now the only way to trade this in order for a sideways position uh, to make sense is for there to be a rejection. And uh, I don't want to trade that kind of a risk to reward. I don't want to trade for a rejection, which is why I'll not be taking any intraday trades today with uh, what is happening. Also with the big move on Reliance and TCS, there could be a little bit of shuffling around of positions and that can lead to once again a rise in IV. That's why no intraday trades today. Yeah, so anyway, this position after the adjustment uh, uh, continues to be a little bit of an IV spike wherein uh, and also Reliance, uh, despite it having moved down, you'd think the IV spike was because of the up move. Uh, this position since entry is losing me slightly, but this is not an intraday trade, so it really doesn't matter. It has to be looked at in the overall context of the reliance position which between uh, 2550 and 2850 should be very much manageable and in case we start testing those levels or um, there is some more data to work with on reliance i will make some preemptive adjustment so that should be about it for today um i should be back to trading intraday during this week but it's going to be like a slow process i will wait for there to be good opportunities for me to enter positions and uh, yeah, generally Monday, Tuesday is never going to offer the best risk to reward for intraday non-directional position uh, positions. So I will keep you posted. Also, just to add, I didn't take any trades as such during this particular week. But on the expiry, I sold some absolute penny options for some quick expiry type of a trade. I will just go over what that was. Basically, uh, at the open, given that the 17,500 and 18,000 call option on the expiry date for trading a little more than 5 rupees, uh, I took this trade with about a 2 point stop loss sort of situation. Didn't want to do any management, so didn't do any management. Uh, gave me a pretty good 0.25% kind of a return. Uh, and in the last 5 man minutes of averaging for 77 paisa and 44 paisa, I sold the um, 17,750 and 17. 850 to benefit basically about one additional point and um, yeah there was i mean this would have you can say i would have had a 50 points uh, 50 paisa stop loss or something like that but there was no way that these two were going to be in the money which is why i rolled it down so the expiry gave me a good uh, one lakh without really doing anything at all simply because these options are used for hedging benefit and one can um, sort of take this kind of a trade if you don't want to do any management and you just want to sit back on expiry because you're keeping a 500 point range when the at the money straddle is pricing in 60 70 points so it is from probability uh, perspective uh, safe till almost about 99.5 percent okay just one more addition i'll be taking uh, another positional trade which is basically just a strangle in the weekly um i'm expecting if there is also a short covering from 18000 it would push us till about 18100 but not higher than that and uh, given that there is a higher chance of a rejection from 18000 i will be taking 50 lots of short strangle overnight of 18200 and 18700 18800 has a huge amount of put writing but at the same time in case there is an unwinding it might freak people out of that position which is why i'm keeping roughly about 300 points from my uh, put side and 200 points from my call side and the idea will be to uh, carry this until expiry now here what is really important is my position sizing and this is an unhedged trade this is a strangle straight up and uh, in weekly right so it can be very dangerous which is why my position sizing is just 
50 lots, which is 2,500 quantity, which even for whatever reason, tomorrow some war breaks out and we open all the way down here, it will really not hurt me that much. Even if we open at circuit and circuit is something that you can assume happens once in eight to 10 years, uh, it will not hurt me to an extent that uh, it will uh, put me in a situation that I can't recover from. It won't even be about 8% of my account value. So that being the case, um, just this minor sort of a trade wherein I don't want to manage intraday, but positionally should be relatively easy to manage. So this is the trade that I'll be taking. Oh, okay, of course. Okay, so that is done. And uh, this I will be carrying overnight. And uh, my adjustment criteria will be if we break uh, 18,050 on the upside, um, 18,000, that will be if it happens today, or 18,100 tomorrow, or if we break, break um, 17,850, 17,800 on the downside. Neither of those situations, I'll look at adjusting. Otherwise, with this sizing, this should be very easily manageable. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That will be the final clip. Have a great day. I'll catch you. Thank you for watching. Please post any questions you have in the comment section. Also, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. To find us on Twitter, Telegram, and Facebook, use the username NiftyBN. Also, we post some of our trades to the community tab, so do not forget to check that from time to time.